Hi, I'm Colonel's Radio Broadcaster Morgan Hawk. Welcome to our first edition of At Home with Morgan Hawk, sponsored by Viridian Credit Union. You will see this pregame show before all 70 Colonel's home games this season. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Welcome to Colonel's Baseball 2012, our first edition of At Home with Morgan Hawk, sponsored by Viridian Credit Union. You'll be able to check out this show uh, before all 70 Colonel's home games on the LED board at Perfect Game Field. You can check it out on our Facebook page, also our YouTube page, and it will be posted on my blog, crkernels.mlblogs. Com. Let's take a look at some of the daily specials that you'll see when you come on out to the ballpark here this season in 2012. First of all, on Thursdays, it's Thirsty Thursdays at the ballpark. 12-ounce beer, only $1.50. 20-ounce bottled soda and water, only $2. On Fridays, something new here for this season, the Mug Club. Buy a 16-ounce mug of draft beer for only $5, and you can bring it back every Friday for $2.50 refills. And also something else special here on Friday nights, Giveaway Fridays. Every Friday, we're giving something away, and we've got a lot of great giveaways for you uh, this season in 2012. And then on Saturday night, fireworks every Saturday starting May 19th, post-game fireworks shows. Two special shows will be thrown in July 4th and also on August 17th. Moving along to Sunday, that is Run the Bases Sunday. A lot of great activities for the family. You can also get autographs from the Colonels on the concourse uh, before the game. And after the game, we invite you to come on out and play catch in the outfield after the ball game. Last season we had 55 schools that had held their school night out here at the ballpark. I want to say thanks to all the schools that made it out last year and we expect uh, many more here in 2012. Also say thanks to all the groups and the companies in the corridor that held their group outing uh, out here at the ballpark, whether it be on the mezzanine or whether it be out of the pavilion. Also thank you to all the season ticket holders of, of Colonel's Baseball and also thank you to all the fans that made it out to a ball game in 2011. We hope to see uh, you and many more out here in 2012. Last season on the field, the Colonels shot out of the gates quickly. They went 20 and 10 overall through the first 30 ball games. However, from that point, the Colonels went through a brutal nine game losing streak. We're never able to really recover from that. Injuries to Drew Hyde, Travis Witherspoon, key promotions to uh, uh, for one catcher, Carlos Ramirez, some members of the pitching staff. Towards the end of the season, the Colonels finished the first half with a 32 and 38 record. Second half lacked consistency, 29 and 40 in half number two. Overall record last season was 61 and 78. Let's take a look at our 2011 Colonels Player of the Year. Our hitter of the year was Ricky Alvarez. Alvarez played in 126 of the Colonels' 139 ball games. He hit 257, 10 home runs, and 64 runs batted in. Our pitcher of the year, Dakota Robinson, a 10-3 record. All 10 wins came out of the bullpen, a 2.86 earned run average. He struck out 65, walked only 14 in 72 and a third innings on the year. Dakota was one of three colonels uh, that represented the team in the 2011 Midwest League All-Star Game. Let's take a look at our Colonel's Play of the Year from 2011. This came on Saturday, May 28th, right here at Perfect Game Field. The Colonel's playing the Peoria Chiefs game tied at five. Ricky Alvarez came to the plate with two outs into the bottom of the ninth. The 1-0 from Harmon to Alvarez. Long fly ball. This ball is a tape major shot. Colonel's win. A walk-off home run for Ricky Alvarez. Listen to the crowd. Let's
Let's take a look at how the Angels organization fared last year. It's Halo Happenings. The Los Angeles Angels finished second in the American League West, but plenty of things to look forward to in 2012. Albert Pujols has joined the Angels, and they look to make it back to the playoffs here this season. The Salt Lake Bees in AAA's Pacific Coast League finished with a 62 and 82 record. That was unfortunately last place in their division. Double A's Arkansas in the Texas League 68 and 69 overall. They made the playoffs based on their first half division title. They made it all the way to the Texas League Championship Series where they lost three games to nothing there to San Antonio. In high A, the Inland Empire 66ers made the playoffs as well. They finished 69 and 71 overall. However, they made the California League playoffs but uh, lost their first round series 2-1 to one to Lake Elsinore. And finally, the Orem Owls at the rookie level finished with the best overall record in the Pioneer League South Division at 46-30 and 30 overall. They lost their first round playoff series two games to one to Ogden. Let's also take a look at the final look at the Midwest League standings. There you see the Eastern Division right there. Dayton, your Eastern Division champion. And moving to the West, Quad Cities finished with an 81 and 56 record. Quad Cities won the Midwest League Championship Series over Lansing three games to nothing. And the River Bandits did not lose a game the entire postseason. We'll take a quick break, get a word from Viridian Credit Union, and come back, wrap things up here on at home with Morgan Hawk, sponsored by Viridian Credit Union. Every day is an adventure. And each moment is an opportunity to enjoy what life has to offer. Viridian Credit Union understands you are original. And your financial demands shouldn't hold you back. That's why you need a financial partner like Viridian Credit Union. We're an Iowa original, here to finance your very unique journey. Welcome back to At Home with Morgan Hawk, sponsored by Viridian Credit Union. Well, we're getting close to, uh, to opening night. Our first Colonels game is April 5th. We traveled to Appleton, Wisconsin to take on the, the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. That will be on the road. We come back on Monday, April 9th for our home opener right here at Perfect Game Field taking on the Clinton Lumber Kings. Opening night, April 9th. While you're out here at the ballpark all season long, make sure you check out the Hall of Fame timeline. That's up here on the suite level and a great display of history of Cedar Rapids baseball. And as always, you, if you can't make it out to the ballpark, you can listen to all the games on KMRY 93.1 FM, 1450 AM, Colonels.com as well as KMRY radio.com all 140 colonels games right there on kmry thanks for joining us here for our first edition of at home with morgan hawk sponsored by viridian credit union we hope to see you all out here at the ballpark member opening night is april 9th you can catch this show before all 70 colonels home games will play it up on the led board at perfect game field it will also be posted to our facebook and our youtube page as well as my blog at crkernels.mlblogs.com. Opening night, April 9th. Thanks for watching the first edition of At Home with Morgan Hawk, sponsored by Viridian Credit Union.